is about it's just about having fun between five girls it's a hell of a lot of hormones flying around i always really wonder you know whether the way people think i am is actually anything like how i really am and i don't know i have days when when i'm on the stage and there's thousands of people and you just get this kind of feeling come over you're like oh my god everybody in this crowd knows who i am they're singing the songs we sing i could never see myself doing anything else In 2002, Girls Aloud were catapulted into the world of pop as the winners of reality talent show Pop Stars The Rivals. Scoring a legendary Christmas number one, the girls were an instant record-breaking success. These girls are the quickest any band has ever gone from being formed to getting a number one. They're the first band to have a Christmas number one with their debut oh, single. Oh my God. And and most amazingly, you are the first girl band ever to debut at number one. <laughs> Three years on, the girls have gone from strength to strength to become the UK's biggest girl band, selling over two million records and notching up eight top ten hits. But away from the limelight, what is it really like to be in the band? For the first time since they were formed, the girls have allowed cameras to follow them for six months to reveal the home truth life and girls allowed. This is their story. This is just what I've always wanted to do, just since I was no age, just since I first can remember. What are you going to do when you grow up? Oh, a pop star? I used to say to my mum, I'm going to be a pop star when I grow up. And you know, you know what they're like? They'd be like, yeah, okay, okay. I never ever thought in a million years that it would have happened to me the way it did. Me and my sister would get up at every family party and do some kind of show for everyone. And your heart, you just hope that please, 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 just let it work out. Just please let something come up that makes your dream come true. And thankfully for, for us, it did. <laughs> Right, well, we're in Walker, and this is where my dad lives, so we're just going to nip in to see him. Come on. Right, well, this is my dad, Gary, and this is my dad's wife, Joanne. When I say I'm going to tell you, it feels really strange. I mean, I know it's my daughter, obviously, but she just looks so different there, and it's just a different setting, it's and a, it, just a different way of life for her now, and it's just so is different it? to what's there. It's is just, it weird for you? Is it? It's totally different to what I had expected would happen. Aye. You know what I mean? I mean, I see you on the telly, and you're with a band, you're doing all the dancing, which is brilliant. <laughs> Being to the concerts and seeing you perform live on stage, and uh, it's just a, an excellent thing. It's just brilliant. Right, well, I'm here now to get me new car, brand new. I'm going to buy an SLK, which is my dream car. I still can't believe I'm going to go into Garris, to be honest. It doesn't feel like it's going to be my car. But I've got my utility bill and my license to prove who I am, and I'm going to go and get it now. I can't believe that's going to be my call. Uh, Dan. Isn't it lush? <gasps> I think I'm going to be sick myself. The roof comes off, you know. <laughs> I will look like a pop star now, won't I? <laughs> for me, it wasn't like a hunger for fame. I just knew inside I wanted to perform. Well, what happened was you had that drive, and although I used to tell her, Get something to fall back on. 
get exams. No, do you know what I used to say, before, right? I did. I used to say, get stuff to fold. Get your head out the f***ing clouds <laughs> right. and go to college. Um, like, you need something yeah. to fall back on. I know this is well, your I dream, did. but it's hard and blah, 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 blah. And now I used to like, I would watch things like smash hits. That's a job. <laughs> smash hits and things like that and actually feel like I could be physically sick with just wanting to be up there. Not even, nothing to do with the fame side of it, really. Just the performance side of it. I always knew it was in his. And I used to say to him, Dad, just shut up because when I'm rich and famous, I'll pay you back. Lend us 20 quid and I'll pay you back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't feel like it's my call. I feel like at some point someone's going to go, right, enough of the dream gives the call back. But look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Please turn right. Then turn next left onto the A193. Oh this is um, literally where I grew up, really around these streets but like at one point i would have been getting the bus or walking to there now i'm driving a bloody slk past it it's mad how things change isn't it she's done everything she said she was gonna do and I, i'm yeah. dead proud of that i'm really proud of that i know yeah and she knows that oh when we pop <laughs> oh. Still to come, exclusive backstage access as the girls embark on their first national tour. <laughs> it's Carry On Camping with Nicola. Am I staying in this room? I can't stay in here! And Sarah reveals the truth about those dieting rumours. Forget the fad diets. Get yourself down the local takeaway. Fish and chips.